مشتركة مع أخي وزميلي جون بيير لاكروا فالمقصد منها هو تجديد الدعم للسودان خاصة بعد الإنجازات الظاهرة اللي حققها خاصة باتفاق السلام الذي أمضي في جوبا أخيرا هذا مكسب يشرف كل القارة الإفريقية وكل محبي السودان وكذلك ما توصل إليه السودان أخيرا من نزعه من قائمة الدول المساندة للإرهاب هذا أيضا مكسب مهم وبالتالي كانت لنا فرصة أننا نتباحث مع المسؤولين على أعلى مستوى في السودان في كيفية الدعم من الاتحاد الأفريقي ومن الأمم المتحدة في المراحل القادمة سواء في تطبيق اتفاق السلام أو في يعني سماح للاقتصاد الوطني بالانطلاق من جديد وهذا أظن مكسب شعبي ومكسب إفريقي ومطلب إفريقي يعني لا بد لنا أن نتطرق إليه ونعطيه الأهمية الخاصة فإذا لقاءاتنا اليوم كانت إيجابية وفيه يعني تفاهم كامل فيما يخص بعث اليوناميد وانتهاء مهمتها والبعثة الجديدة للأمم المتحدة والدعم اللي ممكن تقدمه المنظمتين في هذا المجال وأظن أشكركم وأظن أن زميلي Uh, we had uh, just uh, a very good meeting with His Excellency the President and uh, my brother Commissioner Shaggy of the African Union. And we had uh, a very important meeting with uh, the Prime Minister, Minister of Foreign Affairs and other uh, dignitaries. We wanted to congratulate uh, His Excellency the President and the other leaders for the tremendous progress that uh, were made by Sudan and by the Sudanese people towards peace. And of course, the Juba Peace Agreement is a major milestone towards achieving that goal. And we also wanted to express the continuous support from the African Union and the United Nations to these efforts towards peace. The support of both organizations continues to be very strong, but the ways in which this support will be extended will change because it's a new context in Sudan, it's a new Sudan, the needs are different. The joint AU UN mission UNAMID will very soon end, and uh, the new United Nations UNITAMS is already being put in place. The African Union. I'm speaking under your control, Smail will continue to extend support. We continue to coordinate very closely both organizations with one objective and only one, which is to support Sudan in its roads towards peace and towards stability. And these are the key messages that we wanted to convey both to His Excellency the President and to the other dignitaries whom we met today. Tomorrow we will be going to Al Fasher jointly and uh, we also want to uh, greet our colleagues from UNAMID and congratulate them and of course starting with uh, His Excellency uh, Mr. King Semamabolo, the Joint Special Representative, the head of UNAMID. We want to congratulate them for their outstanding work. We were very um, appreciative and grateful for the words that were expressed by uh, His Excellency the President and the Prime Minister uh, when they expressed appreciation for the support that was uh, uh, brought by uh, UNAMID uh, to the people in Darfur, but also the support that was extended uh, by the AU and the UN uh, to the achievement of the peace agreement. So tomorrow we will want to convey this message of appreciation to uh, our colleagues in UNAMID to tell them thank you. They've been working under difficult conditions and of course especially difficult now that we have COVID-19. But I think that uh, the progress are very encouraging and again 
we want to, to reiterate the very strong support and commitment of both the African Union and the UN to Sudan and to the Sudanese people. Thank you. Thank you.